Eric. Hello. Welcome back to We Made It. I'm BJ. I'm Corey. We're the Maze. We are. And we have a special, special treat for you today. <gasps> We've been saving this one. You've been saving it. I've been begging you to let me make this for the last, what, six videos? Yeah. Well, I, well we wanted to do it closer to Christmas. Yeah. And we it's needed fair. a day where we had time to make it and actually enjoy it. There you go. So today we are making our mulled wine. Yes. So this is a We Made It original, correct? It is. We, a couple years ago, certain, was it just last year? You know, it was a couple years Maybe ago. Maybe two years ago. Yeah. We looked and looked and looked at mold wine and glue vine recipes and just sort of made our own. So It's a hodgepodge of 10, 15, yeah. 30, 200 So we recipes. even have it written down in my, <laughs> my written cookbook here so we don't forget anything uh, because it does have several ingredients. Oh yeah. Um, and busy. again, we've talked about before getting your bulk spices, your whole spices at like an Indian grocery. Mm -hmm. um, so there are a lot of whole spices in this. Some of them you can totally buy like at Walmart or Kroger sure, or something, sure. just any grocery store. Um, but some of them you might have a hard time finding unless you go to an Indian grocery or an international market of some yeah. sort. Oh, yeah. So I apologize in advance, but it's super worth it. This I one's promise. worth it. It's worth the special grocery trip. So we're going to start with our honey. Okay. Correct? Yes. Um, and we're going to go two to four tablespoons, depending on how sweet you like it. Sure. You've met us. We tend to like things a little less sweet um, when it comes to... So I'm totally going to be scientific here. Just putting individual dollops <laughs> in the bottom that are one tablespoon, it's two tablespoons. About a tablespoon each. And I'm going to do five. Five. Because we just said we liked it less sweet. So well, we're but we're more. doubling it. Oh, we are. That's we right. are doubling oh, this recipe doubling this. because we got the big bottle. We're using the big boy. <laughs> <laughs> the big bottle of red. So that's our honey. How about our citrus juices? How much of that do I need? The recipe calls for an eighth of a cup of both. So we're going to do a quarter cup of both. Of, so of both or of each? Of, of each, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> My words are failing me. Yeah. Use quarter cup words. of lime, quarter cup of lemon. Okay, so my lemon. Will you whisk that for me I so will. that we can whisk the honey in? Um, I don't want the honey to just sit on the bottom of this and get scorched. You will notice we're putting this in the crock pot. Um, you could do this on the stove, I'm sure. And I'm sure we have done that before. Yeah, I think but, we did the first year. Um, we're using a crock pot because you put it, you let it get hot, and then you can just let it stay warm. Yeah. All day. Also, it's hard to dra drag our stove over here in front of the camera. <laughs> well, there's that too, but this is actually how we make it in the crock yes. <laughs> All right, how much orange juice do I need? Uh, we're going to go, the recipe calls for half cups. So we're going to double a it to a whole, whole cup. cup of orange juice. Okay. And no need to fresh squeeze your orange juice. Okay, triple sec? Triple sec. We got, we're going to go with a, a half a cup of that. So a quarter okay. cup per recipe. All right. Do, 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 do. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Honey's pretty well All right. dissolved okay. now. Okay, you could just let that sit if you want until we get everything in. All right. Should we put our wine in? Yes, let's. And the recipe calls for one whole bottle, and this is a double bottle, so we're just going to put the whole thing in there. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, you could do kind of any big house red you Merlot. want. Merlot would work fine. Uh, I might stay away from the spicier, more intensely flavored red right. wines like Shiraz's and Tempranillo's and that sort ah. of thing. I might stay away from those Malbec. because... You don't want a Malbec. Malbec the spices this. that we're adding are the point here, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't want this You want to something taste that's like kind of hearty. Right? You do. You want something that'll hold up to the spices, but not something that's providing all of its own spice already. Right. All right. So for the spices, the first thing that we're going to put in is a bunch of cinnamon sticks. Now, the recipe mm -hmm. calls for two. Uh, when we buy our cinnamon sticks, we buy them in bulk at an Indian grocery. They tend to be a little shorter than the ones that you might get at a, uh, at a Walmart. These ones are. So now, the ones we saw at the Mexican grocery last week Those were, were really like big. tree branches. Yeah, they, they were, were gigantic. Cinnamon fire starter yeah. logs. It was <laughs> so wild. So if you have really big, I mean, just use your own judgment. Cinnamon sticks, it's not going to break the bank if you put in double. Um, I'm putting in basically just a handful of it's these. It's going to be right? good. A bunch of little ones. Yep. 
Uh, uh, our star anise pods. Calls for star three star anise pods. These are funny little guys. If you've right? never so seen star anise. If you haven't seen star anise, it's called star anise because it looks like a star. You see yep. the little shape there? They're little pods. The little pods. And we're going to put in six total of those. I left one on there. Uh -oh. There you go. In they go. All right. Next, you the cardamom. Wanna, you want to do the cardamom? So All right. Six cardamom pods, three per three per batch. batch. These are green cardamom pods. They're going to be really hard yep. to see on camera. If you've used cardamom powder, this is it's what it's made what from. Made from. Um, so I don't have a mortar, mortar and pestle, so I'm just going to kind of give them a little smush with the muddler in a bowl. Yep. And the idea here is just to crack open the outer shell so that the actual seeds inside the little pod is broken open yep. and the cardamom goodness gets out of there. Yep, and you can just use a, um, you could use the back of a frying pan on a cutting board. She didn't let me use the hammer on camera. You can, if you have a meat tenderizer, that would work. I wanted to use a you hammer. You wanted to use a hammer. <laughs> Whole cloves are up next. How many whole cloves? Uh, let's see. It says a half a teaspoon. Can you just a eyeball a whole teaspoon of cloves? I can. I Do would it. say that's about a teaspoon right there. Do it. This is how I measure for like all of my cooking, by the way. <laughs> We're going to go to our all-spice berries. It says to use a teaspoon of those. We're going to go to two teaspoons two for our double teaspoons. batch. So, bump. One. There we two. go. Sure. And these are again. If you don't, if you've used allspice, the powder, it's actually made from a berry. A little dried berry. Smells really good. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, uh, and the last thing, spice-wise, is our nutmeg. Nutmeg, yeah. and this calls for how much? How nutmeg much is nutmeg this does this call for? A lot. Like, it's a, a fair amount, like Ooh, more nutmeg than you normally put in stuff. Why can I not find the nutmeg on this list? It's right there. There it is. There yeah, it is. A whole teaspoon. An entire teaspoon of nutmeg is a lot of nutmeg. So we'll be back in a second while I grate all grate this nutmeg. Grate all this <laughs> Okay. We're done grating it all up. That's yep. about, a, about a teaspoon of uh It's maybe a little more nutmeg. than a teaspoon, yeah, but eh, it's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Went good. faster than I thought it would, actually, it so don't be scared. <laughs> and that you could probably use ground nutmeg if you didn't have a, oh, a whole sure, nutmeg. Sure. Um, I might back it off a little bit. The ground I think nutmeg the ground tends stuff to be, is going to be a little stronger. Tends to be a little more potent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now our vanilla bean. I think the vanilla and then just the And whole. the oranges. Okay, so we... So. All right, we have a caveat here. Vanilla bean is prohibitively expensive. It's so <laughs> ridiculous how much that costs. This vanilla it's bean ridiculous. came in a container by itself. One vanilla bean. One. So, if you would like to use vanilla extract, I would probably go a teaspoon per batch for this. Um, we decided to splurge and do the vanilla bean, but we almost didn't, and we are, t it is totally, we made it approved <laughs> to <laughs> use vanilla extract in this, because, but use the real stuff, don't use imitation vanilla, yeah. um, because so. we understand that a vanilla bean is... Not it's an easy thing to come by sometimes. Almost half the cost of this whole recipe is this. Yeah. So if you if you know a good place to get vanilla beans cheap, please let us know because we have not had any luck. <laughs> I mean, I understand you can probably get them online as well. You know, scrape that out. Oh yeah. Before I'm you scrape out the guts the of this. Board. this is easier. I'm gonna no? scrape oh, it right okay. into there. Well, here, do it on. The, scrape it on. Look at all that beautiful oh, yeah. goodness. All that caviar, you know they call that caviar? They call that vanilla caviar, uh -huh. is that what they call that? Yep. Well, it's priced about like caviar. <laughs> right? It's unbelievable how much this garbage costs. And it's not fish eggs, so. Seriously. All right, so we're going to scrape out our vanilla bean and put the pod in there as well because Boy. there is a ton of flavor left in the vanilla bean pod. So our last thing is we're just going to slice up an orange or quarter it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna cut it into chunks slices would have been prettier for the glasses but it's cool <laughs> and this part is optional you don't have to put citrus in there um, we just happen to have an orange <laughs> literally one orange, Throw the whole orange sitting over there. there so this will add a little more extra flavor plus it looks extra pretty sitting in that crock pot so that's it I say that's it, like... <laughs> like it doesn't have four hours to go It doesn't now. have like 20 <laughs> ingredients in it. Uh, um, huh? But really, this is your whole time right here. And how long did that take us? It really didn't take that long. Not long. So now it will sit. Um, we'll put the lid on it, let it get hot, 
Um, you don't want this to boil, so just, you know. Low. Set it for low. It goes low. on low. Um, it does take a while to heat up, but then you can just sit and drink on it all day. If you'll notice, you've probably noticed that it's... It's daytime. Daytime. <laughs> we're not shooting this at night when the kids are in bed like normal. Nope. We're making this during the day so that by the time this is ready, it'll be, you know drinking time. And when you do go to drink it, of course, there's a ton of particulate yes. matter there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get out your mug and you get out a fine mesh strainer and yep. you're going to ladle it through the fine mesh strainer into your mug and enjoy. Right. It's a beautiful drink. You're going to really like it. And oh. we're going to check back when it's done mm -hmm. and sample it and tell you how amazing it is. So it's go make it. Um, and we'll be back to taste test in a little while and tell you how it is. Oh boy. See you soon. See ya. And we're back! We are! By the magic of digital broadcast Poof. technology. Four and a half hours have elapsed. Woo. And what we have in front of us is a beautiful and incredibly good I smelling pot of mulled wine. that there was such a thing as smell of vision Because... This is reason enough to invent it, really. This is like... I just smell so amazing in here. I'm very happy. Right I can't now. even. I'm, I can't even. Do we even have to keep it. talking, or can no, we just we can do just the drinking do the part? Thing. Now, I would like to mention a couple of housekeeping things. Okay. That we did turn it up on high after we got off camera, just to get it hot. Yes. Just Left to get it, it on going. high for like 15, 20 minutes, and then turned it back down to low, because um, we were in a hurry. <laughs> We I'm, wanted it to be hot by dinner time. I'm still in a hurry. It, we, it is. So, all right. Let's oh get in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is just... How gorgeous this is. It's beautiful. Okay, so we got our fine mesh strainer, and we're using our smallest one so that yep. we can fit it in our little footed mugs. And right. Corey's going to ladle herself a little bit of that. Oh, come on. Look at how good that looks. And one last thing. Oh, look at that. A little that. cinnamon stick. Now... <laughs> oh man, we're using the short stubby cinnamon sticks and they just disappear. Like, look at that. Get some longer cinnamon sticks. Don't be like us. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Everything that was wrong with the world is now right. So good. guys, we're so is good a, at this. This is a hug and a mug. Oh, it's wonderful. Like I'm going with that. I know it's cheesy, mm. but this is legit, just warm and cozy, and it makes you feel all happy inside. I'm happy inside, outside, and in between. This is oh. wonderful. Thank you for joining us. You're gonna love it. Make it uh, and like the video. Like it. Subscribe. Yep, and follow us on the social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram at We Made It Cocktails. We're on Twitter at We Made It Drinks. We will be back later this week. Yes, we will. For another We um, Made It video. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, cheers. Cheers. Get me somebody, anybody, anybody. and get me, me somebody, somebody while I'm waiting. <laughs> it's too hard. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Just not even going to touch that one? No. You sure you don't want to touch it? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> get me a drink. Oh. And get me another drink while I'm waiting for that drink. All right. Well, don't do that unless you have some either shorter mugs or longer <laughs> sticks. What you're saying is you just need it to be longer. I just need it to be longer. Okay. We need to do some channel research. We do. I love channel research. I love channel research. Is it time to drink it? You have to cheese me. I have to toast you. Cheese you? What does this even mean?